Hi everyone, this is Professor Dragon Expert here again. Now I'm going to have to do this next one in two segments because this Wi Fi battle was longer than and would be allowed for one upload. It's versus Shadow Ice. Look, here it goes. So he let off with Psychic, He's trying to take out my spawn before I could stop right. but I still pulled it off anyway. And I wasn't too worried that my spawn perk had fainted because I mainly just use it to stealth rock anyway. So I decided to go with Umbran because it has tight advantage or as well, and plus has really high special defense anyway. So I decided to poison it because I wasn't sure exactly how much damage my dark type move would do to him. So I ended up doing just about half. Would have been close on if I could have knocked it out in two hits with main attack or not. At this point, I decided I'd probably just want to rest because that way the, then my Umbra will still be good for battling. And plus that Lumbra. There you go. Now normally I would have leftovers on it. But I like to have it so each Pokemon has to hold a different item. And then he goes with Weavile, which is Umbreon. One of Umbreon's weaknesses, kind of. Because I can't really hurt him very much with Umbreon. And I really had no good counters to switch in for Weavile. With this team I was testing out at the time. So he does a brick break, does over half my life because of the sword stance. No, I have no choice but to use quick attack for these because faint attack just won't do hardly anything to him. And I, he did not need that critical fit, so I would have had him ram fake either way. So it didn't really matter to me. But I had to go with Metagross here. Or because Metagross has a priority move, and that way if he did not do Ice Shard, I wouldn't even get hurt. Then I knew it was going to do Earthquake, so I had to go Salamander. Despite it having Hyper Cutter. So I go with Dragon Dance to boost my stats. That's that turn. Now, unfortunately, he ends up getting a critical hit with Stone Edge, so it KOs me before I get a chance to Outrage next turn. So I have to go with Suicune, because Suicune can wall just about anything other than Electric Pokemon. He subs out. For Empoleon, which is a great move, because Suicune really can't do hardly anything to Empoleon. So, despite me doing Combine there, it really wasn't going to matter because I ended up trying to switch out anyway. So I go with Metagross because I have Earthquake available on it. And he does Sword Stance to get prepared for that and does Earthquake. Now, 
Lucky for me, at least I had Shaka Berry on, so I knew I would still have over half of my life just because of how high Metagross' defense is. And then my own Earthquake ends up KOing him in one shot, which did kind of surprise me. I thought it would have survived at a small amount of HP. So back to Glissar again. So now I go back to Suicune again. So at this point, Glissar's wasted four earthquakes now, basically because of pressure. And he goes with Persalia because it's in the wall. A lot of Pokemon. Now I decided to poison him because that's the most effective way to kick out a Cresselia if you don't have a really strong attacker. So I could have blown up with Metagross and that would have done it too, but I didn't want to do that. We both are basically racing our steps. And I'm gonna just stop this first video here.